Hello and welcome to the early access version of Cuba Factorio. This is a colony builder with a heavy emphasis on automation. We start off with just a bunch of villagers, you know, building houses and farms and chopping trees and digging into the mountains. Uh, but eventually, once we get some research done and, and get some workshops set up, we'll start getting carriages hauling things back and forth. Maybe some, uh, some trains eventually and some zeppelins eventually hauling things around and getting a, uh, a nice automated colony running. We played this one about a year ago when it hit, first hit Kickstarter uh, after a very successful Kickstarter campaign. We're now here in the Steam Early Access days. Uh, as of today, uh, it's hitting Steam. So let's take a look at this one and see what it's all about. We can do a, uh, a generic custom map with, uh, you know, sandbox style of, uh, of base builder kind of thing. But we're going to go into a campaign just to see what the thing's all about here. I'm going to pick a normal world size. We're going to have several different islands we'll be able to eventually move into. Uh, and we'll start with a basic starting colony of four men, four women. And let's see what we can do here. So back when we played this one during the Kickstarter demo days, it was pretty basic. There wasn't really any automation to the game. There wasn't really anything here. Uh, we got ourselves a procedurally generated world uh, with all these different islands that we can start on. We're going to start with the first one, obviously, right over this way. Once we, um, I'm not actually sure how the next islands work. I haven't got past the first island, so once, I guess eventually we'll build on and, and move to the next island uh, throughout the entire campaign. So here we are. We've got our, um, we got six folks. There we go. We got uh, Elfleda, uh, Ald Adelfrida, and Baltrin here are our colonists. They all have needs and wants and, and things. This guy wants a house. Um, we have job assignments we can give them. We can have workshops that they can work as well. Uh, basically, we've got a boat here. Looks like a semi, but we got a boat here in the water. We can unload the thing and throw all this stuff we have in our boat onto the land, like our rocks, our wood, and our hammers, and all of the, uh, the basic things to get started. But while we're on this island, we can zoom out here and see some things. we got a little, uh, some natives up to the north there. Uh, but we can go and see. We've got this red boundary. This is sort of our work area. We want to expand that. We can do that later on. But for right now, I'm going to tell people to go ahead and start chopping trees, digging into the mountain, and get all this um, this terrible nature out of the way so we can claim it as our own. After they're done hauling things, they'll get to work doing that. Um, well, as you can see, we're acquiring things, which is allowing the ability to make things like basic workshops and wells and, and bonfires, which is what we use to uh, expand our, our boundaries here. Uh, let's get to start. Uh, second thing to do is get a... Um, probably get... A well set up, which will give us a water supply. We'll throw that in like right there. Now, the way this works is everything you make has to have a, a stockpile to throw it to. So you can see we got we need someone to work on construction to build the thing. We also need someone to go in and um, uh, we need a stockpile for the water to get placed at. So let's go put a stockpile in. We're going to put all our stockpiles sort of in the middle here. We'll throw it like right over there. It's probably big enough. Two by two. So all my water, when it comes out, is going to go there. This one, make sure it accepts water only. So once it gets built, it'll it'll work. Now, as far as getting it built, we're going to go to our colonist management and say, um, this is very, you know, dwarf therapist or room world style, or a lot of these games use this, style, this sort of system. Uh, where, uh, let's see, here's our well. The bigger the box, the better they are at welling. So we're going to put Alfreda, we're going to call it, it's not Alfreda, but we're going to call her Alfreda on the well. So she's going to go, and that's going to be her only purpose in life, is to go and do that well thing. Now, we got a lot of things marked to be chopped and mined, and all, so we're going to tell these two to get to work on that. Uh, we need to get a farm going, so we're going to put uh, Baltrun on the farm. And then we're going to have Ansbert, who's not very good at constructing, on constructing. Um, who we got left? We have Ramund, who's terrible at everything. So we're going to build ourselves a workshop here in a minute, and Ramund, who kind of is competent at that, is going to go work that. All right, so there we go. Now we got trees getting chopped. We got mine getting whacked. We got weeds, weed, getting <laughs> yanked out of the ground and thrown just anywhere, really. We don't have stockpiles for most of the stuff. They're just going to throw it on the ground as it is. And then we've got, who, who's this? Ansbert. Strong human being. Building ourselves a well. We now have a well. He's getting there. Building a well, which will eventually get some water out in this place. You can see this water already over there that people have a uh, place that was on my boat over this way. So, uh, yeah, yeah, there we go. Let me crank up speed here and get things running along because there's a lot in this game to show off, but uh, it's going to take a little while to get anywhere. So it may take a couple of videos here before we actually get some proper, uh, proper coverage of this game. Uh, one thing that's very important in this is the ability to make, uh, where is it, where is, where is it, uh, bonfires. So that's the, the settlement expanding thing. We place fires out in, in the world and it grows our red border, which allows us to mine and build and, uh, and chop trees or whatever in, in that territory zone. 
Uh, also, we have these natives up here who have a, uh, a bar. Looks like they have some pigs around here. His name is Ham Solo. <laughs> Ham Solo the pig. Uh, the Baconator. Yes, yes. And his name is just Bacon. Uh, we also have a couple female colonists up here also. Oh, no. Male and female colonists. That if we build our borders up to them, they will come join our colony. There we go. Bonfires are made. Our red border has expanded. Uh, notice it's red. We can actually change that if we want to have different zones. So some people may work in, say, the yellow zone and not the red zone. That kind of a thing. Uh, for later on, automation kind of things. So, uh, there we go. Our well is done. So well is getting hauled into the box. Excellent. Territory's expanding. Everything's looking okay. People are, uh, just lazing around. Look at that guy. Ansbert. Lazing around. Uh, let's go build a... What was that? This one. A basic workplace. Throw it here next to the well. So, this is going to make me things like stone blocks, wooden boards, uh, hammers, pickaxes, all of that from the workshop, which we saw. Uh, the guy's terrible at everything. Willibald, nope, Raimund, will work as soon as it gets built. Now, again, we need a stockpile for this. This one needs quite a bit of a stockpile, so let's go do something like, um, like a 4x3 there for this one. Uh, it's going to accept all the things it's going to have, uh, which is going to be stone block, wooden board, board. I want you to make all those things. I'm going to put them into stone block, uh, stone blank, um, with wooden board, wooden board. There's all, um, wooden board, there it is. Wooden handles, we have all those as well. There's also some tools in there that can go in there. I'll hang on the tools. So don't worry about those tools just yet. Just get the basic stuff done. And then you're going to put it there. Okay, so, uh, what's his face? He's going to come over here and make some stone blocks. So I'll throw them into there. Here he comes. He grabbed himself a, a, a rock. He's going to go wail away on it, make it smooth. There he goes. He's shaking the whole place. He's going to throw those blocks in there as soon as he's done with it. And once we get a block in the stockpile, then it then it uh, unlocks more things for us. So it's telling me what to do here. It must make a farm. I need to do that. Mine, harvest, and data. make a workshop. And get that going. It's going. Uh, farm is very important. We should do that. Should have done that probably earlier. Um, let's set it up over this way. Something like that. So there's a big farm. Farm's going to grow strawberries. Those strawberries, of course, have to go to a stockpile. We see a pattern here. We're going to throw it in just like right there. So you go there. You already automatically accept strawberries. Thank you very much. And uh, do I have something on farming? I think I do. Yeah, yeah. Baltroon. Farmer Baltroon is over here. Farming away. That'll give us some uh, some food for the people. Um, they don't have any food coming in. We have plenty of drinks. Food's important. I should have done that a long time ago. Uh, what we can do, however... Hey, there's a pig there. Um, is we can come in and grab some berries, for instance, from here. Uh, let's go grab... Let's go grab those berries, because we need some food, because somebody, our, um... The, the master of this colony has done a poor job of, of getting food for these people. We should have a war with that guy. Oh, is that a... It's like a wheat field over there, isn't it? Huh, can I use you to explore, buddy? You, Ansbert, can I tell you to come here? How do I control you? Can I do that still? In the Kickstarter one, we could... We could control people. I want you to go... Maybe not. There's just like a big wheat field over here. That's alright. Hmm. Let me make another uh, one of these things. I want to... Um, build one of these right there. Let's expand that and see if we can get more. That's lots a lot of wheat. Wheat we use to make beer and bread. Uh, important things. Okay, so we've got ourselves uh, some things here. we got wooden boards and uh, whatever that is. Uh, the stone blanks, which has made new things. For instance, we have now a brewery we can build, which we're sure we'll throw a brewery in right uh, split over here by the farm. Right there. It's going to take wheat and make uh, a beer, or take flowers and make tea. Um, we also have unlocked, I think we got something else in here. Uh, a kiln, which makes bricks or charcoal. Let's throw that over here by this guy. Like that. Um, again, they need, they need uh, um, stockpiles. So you need stone blocks to, to build things, and you're also going to make me some tea. Which is going to go into the tea stockpile, which is going to be right there. These may need to get bigger as time goes on. I haven't played enough to really know uh, how big my zones need to be, but... There we go. There's some tea. A tea zone, and we need a charcoal and a brick zone also. Now, I can imagine... I don't know how the best way of doing this just yet, but I can imagine the best way later on is going to be something along the lines of, like, giant stockpiles at one point, workshops over at one point. I'm not entirely sure, though. So I want you to be, um... Where's charcoal at? 
Right, what if, if I think it's easier if I just do that and that, then I can say then it puts it to the top. Nope, it does not. Nope, it does not. Uh, I thought it did, but it doesn't. <laughs> okay. Well, eventually we'll get rocks and and um. Hmm. Where is oh next page? There we go. Charcoal at that one, and this one's going to be bricks. There we go. Okay. It needs things. It needs stone stone uh, blocks to get made. So why don't you uh, make less stone blanks and boards and just get those blocks done? Okay. Sounds good. Now let's go chop off this whole thing. Get rid of this 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 mountain here. We can't use it. There's no no use at all for it. So we're gonna go. Hack that up. And in the mountain, we can see there is some things in there. There is uh, some clay in the mountain, which will give us bricks. Um, let me think. Can I make houses yet? I think I need to make bricks first, then I can make houses. Oh, no, we can. We can. Um, we can also make tables. When exhausted settlers will sit on tables to relax and socialize. So, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's, go, let's put a table like, uh, like right there. And we'll throw in some houses over here also. Houses need... Wooden boards and stone blocks. We don't have a lot of this stuff yet, but we'll throw that in right there. Each house holds, I think, four people. Let's throw that one in, like, right there. There we go. Yeah, yeah, real nice. Like, uh, coastal living. That ain't too bad. And there he goes, hauling some boards over there to get that done. And we're starting to get somewhere. So, I've, I've just played through, like, the tutorials. And so I've seen some of the automation uh, in the game. And it, it feels less... It feels less, like... Factorio, and more like something like, um, um, what's the game I'm thinking of? Um, like, I just played Voxel Tycoon not long ago, uh, which is a sort of transport tycoon kind of thing with a voxel look to it, and it kind of has a feel like that, where you've got, like, you're building trains, and you're loading them up, rather than being from cities, though, you're loading them up from workshops and moving them over to, to stockpiles or to, or to other workshops, um, and of course the Zeppelin yards are going to be doing the same thing, hauling supplies from long distances with Zeppelins. Um, yeah, it's an interesting interesting idea. This is, of course, still very early days, and there's not, you know, uh, a lot here yet, but interesting idea. Uh, what, do you, what are you? You are the uh, the brewery, so I need someone to go work the brewery. No call on us to sign. Who wants to be a brewer? Let's see. Um, Adel, uh, Adel Frida says that she does. She's working the well right now, but she can do both. She's a workaholic. And then we also need someone to come over here and work the kiln, which I think is going to be... Uh, Baltoon's going to be busy with the farm. Um, you're the builder. What are you doing? Um, how about this? How about this? So, Elf, you go work that. You're not very good at it, but you're going to get better at it when you work things. I don't know if you notice some pop-ups over here. People are getting better as they as they do things. Uh, let me get this. Uh, let me let me build up my my. Um, what am I talking about here? Uh, where's the bon bonfire? That's the word. Here. And see if we can get up there, connect these guys, and get them to join us. Now, when they join us, we're going to need more food, obviously. But we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. I'm going to grab these, these flowers here because we're starting to work on getting... We have tea as an option to make, uh, and tea needs flowers. Take the flowers, boil them up. Tea. Um, oh, we can just yank this tea out of the... Oh, this, um, this wheat out of the ground. Sure, let's just do that. And then we can have a wheat stockpile somewhere over here, and we can get a, brewer, uh, a bakery going. Which would be something like... Can I make a break for you yet? I cannot. I need... Um... Oh, yeah, I can. I can. I thought it was grayed out. Uh, so we'll put the bakery over... Where should the wheat fields be? I feel like it needs to be over here. Like, the farms are going to be here. The bakery will be here. It'll all be right here. Um, yeah, and we can clean these trees out and farm right in here. You know what? We're the new colonists in town. Get out of here, nature. This is my house now. Let me put in a bonfire. Right. Uh, ooh, we can get barns now. Excellent. Uh, I can never find this. Okay, bonfire. Right there, which will unlock the ability to get to these people, and they should just automatically jo uh, join us. Uh, we can get a barn now also. It wants me to do what? It wants me to make a training dummy for combat, a horse station to make carriages. There we go. Uh, a basic workshop, which we already have. It wants another one, I guess, and, and another farm. We need to upgrade our farm before these new people come in. Or we can just make new things. Uh, not, not all strawberries make some wheat and whatever. Uh, let's get... There's a training dummy. Yeah, I'll make one of those. Sure, I'll just throw him. He's kind of big. Let me just throw him over. We'll make combat land over here. Um, I do want a wheat field. I'm going to stash that in like that. It's going to be kind of funny looking, uh, but it'll work. You make wheat, please, and you're going to throw it into the wheat stockpile, which is going to be 
right here next to the strawberries. So you're going to go there. And then uh, you're going to get the wheat from there and then put your bread somewhere. Uh, your bread is going to go here next to the water. Like that. This is going to be... Uh, where's bread? Bread. There's wheat. Uh, oh! Bread. There it is. Okay, so then you take stuff to Breadland. You need stone blocks, right? We really do need a second workplace, don't we? Those blocks are getting used too much. We don't have enough wooden boards for our houses to get made. Oh, we have a house. I missed that one. So four people are happy, happily living in here. We got Santa Claus is here. Uh, we've got, um, what's your name? Uh, yeah, Alf is here living in. She's got a house. She's happy. She's happy about everything. She's a little lacking of, of social. She doesn't like she doesn't like the lack of food variety. No decorations. Her quality house is bad. You know what? I built that house all on my own. I don't like you insulting it. Let's get a torch set up. She wants decorations. You want decorations? Here you go. Have a stick with it. It's on fire. I'll make you happy. Okay, also I want a horse station. Um, a barn for animals. Let me just do that too. We'll put the barns uh, over, sure, over uh, here for the animals. I don't know what animals do. In the uh, in the Kickstarter days, animals didn't do anything. So I'm not entirely sure. Um, who's making that? Ansbert, what are you doing? Why aren't you making that? Uh, oh, you may not have enough stone and trees. Let's get the work cleaning some things up here. There you go. You're gonna be, that's not what I wanted to do. That's not what I wanted to do at all. Uh, <laughs> uh, whoops. Um, whoops. Okay, remove all those. <laughs> all those go away and uh, all that. Okay. What I wanted to do, what I meant to do is mine and harvest. That's the button we wanted to hit. There we go. Okay, let's clean that all up. That gives us plenty of wood. We got tons of wood just laying around here, though. Uh, that gives more stone and get things ready. You can see we have tools here. People can carry tools around with them. Um, who's this? This is Alf. This is Alf. She's got a stone hammer. So she's using it to, to build or whatever. I kind of feel like this should be our wheat field, but maybe I should just... We can always go in here and expand this a little more. Which just seems wrong. It's not... It's all crooked. Um, we need flowers eventually, too. You're missing stone block, and I want you to be making me... Strawberry donuts! Strawberry donuts, you say? Oh, well, wait a minute. I mean, why would I have bread when I can have strawberry donuts? I mean, oh, yeah, forget the bread. Forget the bread. Strawberry donut is what we want. It's amazing. I, I'd live here. Funny strawberry donuts. Well, yeah, the, the, the only thing we eat is strawberry donuts. That's amazing. Okay, how's the stone blocks doing? I want you to crank up your uh, your priority. So make sure you make those things fast. Territory has expanded uh, into here. Yeah, so we got these guys coming with us. We do have a barn. Can I? Um, oh, wait, it has animals already. So animals can do things like power. You can see power is a thing. So I guess we have like hamster wheel kind of things eventually. Um, I do want to see some automation here before we, we call this first episode to a close. I'm sure there's going to be more. I'm telling you now. We're going to do more episodes because I want to see some things. Um, but let's say like let's build. What is, this is my horse station. Let's just stick it over. I'm, let me read this real quick again. I haven't got this point in building yet. Horse station. Used by carriages. Transport goods. Comes with a free horse. Uh, automatically transport goods between connected carriage stations. So if I wanted to say, um, let's say we want to build a big wheat field down well, here and haul it to the wheat spot, we could put it like that. Um, sure, let's try it. So we want a horse station um, right there. And we're going to put a horse station right there. Let's see how that works. Another thing we could do is we could just put roads in. I should have done this a long time ago. Um, roads will help us haul things around a little faster. Like that. I will put one over like that, and then around here, and then around, I don't know, around this way. There we go. You know, a roundabout. People can run on the roads a little faster. She's going back and forth real quick. Um, what's that need to get made? It's in progress. We'll set up a logistics station, which means we go something like that, and like that, which connects those two things. It really needs to go the one way, because we're going to be taking... Um, you're going to be um, pulling in wheat, and you're going to be delivering it here. I mean, if I did that correctly, I hope I did. Uh, there's my horse right there. His job is to go from here to there. And there he goes. He's running all over the wheat fields, all over the uh, strawberries, and dropping off the wheat. I mean, obviously, there's no wheat there. I should... Um, once this grows, it'll be a thing. I probably need... Um, I'm going to put the priority on this farm. Can I do it higher? 
I can't. So he's not even really, it's not grown yet. He's working on the tomatoes, or she's working on the tomatoes. Um, but she'll get the weed eventually. And then it'll be a, a fancy system. Right now there's not much use for it, but once our town gets big, it'll be, you know, useful. No colonists assigned to the bakery. Yeah, we need a baker, don't we? Uh, yeah, bacon, what do you guys do? You guys do power, but we don't need a power thing. Oh, yeah, we gotta get new people. We got Bernhard, uh, Gotthold. So, let's see what we have over here. Got a workshop, robot workshop. Mm hmm Um, bro, wait, what's this? Bakery. Bakery's gonna be, um, Gott's job. Um, is that it? That's the only other one I have, right? We need another farmer. Desperately. It looks like good Gudula. Likes farming, so we'll get well or have to do that. And I want burn hard to mine and construct. Maybe fight. Um, oh, we got man, what's with the names in this? <laughs> can I can I rename you? <laughs> uh, Rag over here is going to be. Um, uh, we have a baker, right? We just put a baker in. Um, you're actually pretty good. Let me put you as the baker, and then you you can do. Um, Maybe that, maybe that basic workshop? What's upgrade workshop? I can't make that yet. But you can do the basic workshop for right now. I realize you're not good at it, but just get over it and do it. We'll see what happens if both of them go and, and do that. Okay. There we go. Things are running. Uh, the horse is just running around like an idiot because he doesn't have anything to do. But, you know, it looks nice. And this one comes with a horse as well. We got a horse here. Uh, what's he going to do? Who knows? Um, I'm sure we'll find a spot for him. We got a stockpile. Oh, no. Oh, that's what I, I put in Grove before. I clicked this one. Grove. Oh, uh, yeah, let's make some oak trees in that little spot there. A dummy. I suppose we could train someone to be a fighter. There's nothing really to fight over here. Oh, I missed there's a chest here. I don't ever use my, you know, rotate the map button. Uh, yeah, grab grab that. The thunder's very noisy. Um, grab these flowers and things. Let's, you know, let's just start tearing things up. Let's start digging into the mountain here. Clean this place up. Looks like things are running okay, though. Oh, is there, what's that? There's some clay in the, uh, in the mountain. There is, uh, yeah, clay in there. We do have, let's see, uh, you want me to build more houses? I do need more, right? You want me to get some charcoal made. Uh, this guy. No problem. I want you to make me, I want you to make both of them, really. And I think what they do is they just sort of run through them equally. So they'll make charcoal, and then he'll make some bricks, and back and forth. I believe is how that works. Um, we may need to increase the size of this grove so we can get some more trees because we're, we're going to just destroy everything here. Um, let me do a quick look over this way. Let's do a, um, a bonfire over here. Like that. Just expand our territory here. I don't know how big this map is. This must be it. Just a little island. And I guess at some point we're going to we're gonna leave the island. I'm not entirely sure where um, that will happen, though. That one seems to be... Um, Running along just fine. We can, we can put conveyor belts in uh, eventually. But we don't need to just yet. Um, we got the roads, of course. Let me do a road from like here and bring it there. And we'll come over this way down to the houses. Like that. People are going to be coming here to, to eat uh, and lounge around. So they should have a road so they can get to that quickly. Um, oh, we've, we've unlocked... Bushes, shrines, flower pots, and ore smelters. Okay, ore smelter time. Let's throw in a uh, well, a decorative shrine as well. Of course, we need one of those um, right there. And then ore smelter, which allows us to get copper, gold, and iron blocks. Uh, so we'll throw this one over, kind of on this side of town. Oh, if I put a bonfire, I'll be able to build more things along this line. Let's do that. Bonfire. I'm going to throw it. There. I want this to be made soon. There he goes. He's hauling some logs over there to it. There he goes. He's going to go get a, a stone and haul it to there to get that thing made. Oh, roads make a, make a big difference, don't they? There we go. Now we can get our ore smelter in here. Make sure there's nothing else new in there. Right there. Now that's going to make all kinds of blocks, which, uh, let me see here. Do I have any, um, uh, let's see. Do we have any iron or anything like that? No. Gold block, gold ore, none of those. None of those. 
Do we even have any any here at all? I don't think we do. Got a few rocks over there. Oh, there's more things over this way, though. Let's go get another, um, another bonfire right over here. Because there is two chests that we can grab. And there's a turtle hanging around. Can we go eat the turtle? I bet you we can. Who wants to be a fighter? Who, who likes to kill things? Um, Rag, you do? Rag likes to bake. Who doesn't? Think, who wants to do something that, that doesn't really matter? You're a farmer. That's important. You are my kiln operator. Basic workplace. Oh, you know what? Oh, no. That's terrible. Um, Rag's doing that one. You know what? I'm just going to give it to, uh, to uh, Rag here. So Rag's going to be a fighter. So we're going to put the bakery on with someone else. Actually, you know what? You can probably do both of them. And I'm guessing you're going to go work on that. Yeah, yeah, there he goes. On the uh, training dummy. Perfect. Missing wooden part for the bakery. Uh, what is it? Wooden part for construction. Can I make wooden parts? Oh, yeah, yeah. Wooden parts needs things. Woods, okay. Need lots of things. But yeah, get that done. Get our bakery done. Invalid soil. Oh, oh, oh. Wait from wheat. It needs desert oasis or dry grassland. Oh, that's not going to do wheat anyway. Uh, let's do some tomato. Oh, we can do flowers for tea. A big flower field. We know this is going to work for wheat, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's make this. This works, right? Yeah, this will work fine with wheat. There we go. That's what's going on. Okay, that explains it. So you're going to be kind of useless then. I mean, we can carry the wheat up to you, I guess. And then work it back, and then run it back and forth. Let's throw a little quick road in here. That is up to here. And then I think because this accepts uh, wheat, they should harvest it and throw it over there. So then the horse will go run it back where it needs to go. Should be how that works. Uh, okay, ore man. I don't have any product selected. I don't have anything really for you to make, though, because I don't have any of this stuff. And so until we get some of that, there's not really any use for you right now. There's the wheat growing now, That's except for that spot. Okay, perfect. Uh, bakery's not quite done yet. How's those uh, wooden parts going? You need wooden boards. Um, yeah, you do. You have wooden boards. You are working on wooden boards right now, I understand. Um, don't make those. Make just the wooden parts. I want to get that bakery done. And then you are supposed to be making me... Supposed to be brewing things, which the flowers will eventually come in now because of this. Flowers and water, and they're calling some water over here to have a drink. Is that what's going on? No, you're going to go farm. Okay, and you have a stone shovel. Perfect. About true. Um, this one needs to get made, and once it does, we can get... Uh, what is that? You will leave the pig. Combat level 5. I'm going to try something out. So I don't know that we can... What do we do with the turtle? Tessie the turtle. Hmm... Okay. We won't mess with Tessie. We don't have an option for it. But if, but if there is a, a colony, a bad colony, we can click on it and, uh, and combat them. Anyway, we're at 30 minutes already. I'm going to call it a day here. So thanks again for watching. This is Cuba Factorium. We're going to do a little more of this one, though, so we can see more of the game. Uh, it's available now on Steam, or we'll be here in a couple hours if you watch this as the video comes out. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.